there's a lower Burrow Mesa trailhead. There's Santa Elena Canyon. We were over there yesterday morning. My goal is the Burrow Mesa high point, which is back behind that a bit. We're gonna try the canyon, but the map says there's a pour off. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have to come back and start out across the flats, but we'll see. Lower Burrow Mesa pour off trail heads that way. We're gonna try that canyon. Not looking very promising, but we'll see. So it is in fact a pour off. The only route that I can see be that little ledge right there. I'll give that a look. But I'm not going down or up anything I can't come down. Or can't find my way back on. Unfortunately, it can be done right by that tree, no doubt. But it's not the ledge I was hoping for. And I'm sure good rock climbers could go up that no problem. Okay. Well, I'm going to head back down here. And uh, plan B. Plan B. We're at the spring trail. I can't remember if it's behind that hill. So that's the high point, I believe, if you can see just behind that rock face, the dome looking thing just to the left behind it. That won't be the problem. The problem is getting up there and there's a shelf around. That's impossible. Well, there might be a small slot, but I'm not willing to risk it. And I have to come down and go around. What would you do? It looks to me like there's to the right of that dome, that rock ledge, there's a route across and up just to the right of that rock slide and then right above that lower rock shelf. Pretty steep. But I'm not positive on that, but that looks pretty promising. It's just a question of can I get above that lower Can I get above that lower rock ledge? Alternatively, to the left, there's a gouge. I just don't want to get up there and then have to try to traverse around. That wouldn't be effective and take all day. Have to descend and then ascend much further to the west this is that same wash that originated where I was at that pour off that pour off and the pour off for the burrow mesa lower burrow mesa or lower, lower burrow pour off trail converge we'll see I gotta get closer and put my eyes on it. Kinda wish I would have brought binoculars, but I did opt for another, because I'm starting a bit later and already warm. Put another bottle of water in and drank almost another one. So I think I have seven, 17 ounces. Hi, Chisos. Pretty much decision time. 
Again, no route through here. No route there. This is what I was looking at before going up to the right. Heading up through here. The problem is if you see that ledge, it's actually a different color. That rock is different colors and I wonder if that's messing with my vision. I don't know that there's much of a ledge there. Above it, I can make it maybe to the right. Then how do I get over there? It's very steep to the right or bottom of that lower ledge. So it's go or no go. I'm gonna do no go. If I fail on that, I don't have another chance. My wife's back at camp. We're doing this south rim again today. Next option is over there on the left of that rock face. Towards the top again, I believe I can get through, but where there's that darker rock and the ledge just, you probably can't see it on the camera. Right up, where are we at? Through here, that's pretty steep. Next good choice is down there, but if I go down there, I kind of think I may as well just take the safe route and go there. That may be what I end up doing just to make sure I have success, because I don't I don't get a second chance, or third chance. Well, that keeps me in the shade. As I get closer, I'll look at that one. That's an option. Possibly right there. Oh, I can't see it. All right, I did take that second route up. Call it Bravo route. Here's a rock outcropping. Trails down there at the base of that hill. That looks promising. Near the top, or rock band. Loose, very loose, slow going. That's what I'm gonna try right there. Gets me on, I hope, solid rock. Where I can do a little climbing and make progress. If not there, worst case scenario over there, but that looks pretty loose. Doable, but loose. Okay, I came up, you know, there's that high point, follow that down, pretty much there, just to the this side of that, I believe. And then there's several, I don't even know what you call them, rock protrusions. If I go down, it's probably here. That's quite steep and loose. That's what concerns me. I think I would come down through here, but that is steep. I may just go around, it'll be so much faster. What I did not anticipate was there was a rock band. At the rock band, I got through kind of the, well, I'll call the crux. It was guarded by cat's claw acacia. Got my arm stuck in it. Had to use my mouth to try to free it up and got it stuck in my lips. It was not fun. And the rock was pretty chossy. So just to be safe, I may descend the other way. I'm not sure if that's the high point. I think it is. We'll find out here shortly. There's Santa Delaney Canyon. Just a little bit of shadow left. That, I think that's where I came up. Over there, it was actually a little further to the left there. That cut. That was the A route, I believe, over there that I did not come up. Originally, I wanted to come up from this side. It's much more tame. You there? Or up that drainage, but not an option. Look at a novice hiker. He came up from the Apache Canyon way. Studi Butte is over that way somewhere. Maybe that's it down there. This is my return route. I'm gonna come down here, saddle, probably skirt that, 
climb up around that rock face. I don't know if I'll go to the saddle over there or cut down early. Maybe the saddle. I'm going for speed. Down that drainage. Traverse. Meet up with trail at the low point. Hike back to where I took off trail and then back to the car. Way down there. High points up back there. Came across. Get a couple of minor navigation errors. More significantly behind here, the best way is just to hang pretty close to this and come down here is probably the way to do it instead. But it's hard to tell from the top if you cliff out because it's so steep right there, but I came all the way around into the saddle. I don't think that's the best way. Go up right there. I'm staying out of the wash because it's overgrown, at least up here. And the trail is down there. in the wash for reference this isn't the main one I came down a side wash and I saw a blue stone too it had blue in it not a lot I don't know what that is we need a geologist Been a tough slog but this has made it worth it so cool came down for reference that wash the geological findings were pretty interesting that's probably the better wash actually it's bigger and winds that way but that was cool this is what it looks like coming out i regained the trail oh that was a beating Came down that wash, came steeply up here to make sure I didn't miss it. It would have been better just to come down to the wash where it joins. I just didn't know if the trail actually reached the wash. It does. Came from up there. Heading back here. It's 11.30. One big circuitous route. That's going to be it for me. Just, uh, I don't know how far back to the car. I don't know, maybe a mile. Here's the trail. That's always a nice thing to see. That canyon, there's a beat down coming that way. A lot of extra mileage. But my goodness, the minerals in there were super cool. I didn't show a lot of it. It's just too much. It's kind of looking for fossils. Didn't see any. Makes me wonder how they find the fossils out here. Do they dig or just wander around and see what looks like part of a fossil? If you go to the fossil exhibit, they talk about, like in the early 1900s, somebody from you know, some New York Natural History Museum or something like that. Maybe it was the 1930s. But they're out here in this old vehicle, this old Ford, two-wheel drive amazes me they could even get around have enough power this was rough terrain well I don't know that anybody needs to hike that it was interesting for me and got my radio contacts in from up there furthest was France F4WBN alright that's it it's 11 after 11.30, I gotta get back. Made friends with the Roadrunners. When I was up on the peak, I heard hooves. Lightly. Probably a deer. But I didn't want to go over and spook it. I imagine that adds a lot of stress. They don't need one. I don't know where they get water. That's it.